Christina, welcome back to another one of my videos. It's been a hot minute since I did a makeup tutorial, but recently the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills came out, so I have to do a tutorial on it because I love this palette. This palette is gorgeous because it has some berry tones and it also has some neutral tones in it. My favorite color out of the whole palette is going to be Love Letter, but I do also like the color Draw Sienna. Burnt Orange, Golden Ochre, Vermeer, Primavera, Red Ochre, Venetian Red, and Relger. I mean, I like pretty much almost all the shades in the palette, and that's why I had to buy it. I have to like at least more than half of the eyeshadows in a palette to buy it. That's what I told myself when it comes to buying palettes. I will not buy any more until, unless I like at least half of the eyeshadows in the palette. So, I love this palette. That's why I got it. Also, I noticed, I don't know if Anastasia has changed the formula of her eyeshadows, but I just feel like these are so much creamier than usual. I have at least four or five Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes, and this is probably, I don't know, I just noticed that they're much more creamier. Um, they blended very easily. I don't know, maybe it's just been a minute since I've... Uh, actually played with my Anastasia shadows but I don't know I really like it this tutorial is based on the color love letter it's a beautiful beautiful berry tone and I paired it with a berry lip also in this video I'm actually giving away three Kylie lip kits if you follow me on snapchat then you know that I've been trying to give away these uh, lip glosses for a while now I just didn't know how I was gonna do it but since this video is a tutorial I'm just gonna announce it in this video so yeah the announcement is I'm giving away three lip glosses these are like literally and so cute and these are the newer versions so don't worry they're not the messed up versions i'm gonna leave all the giveaway details below in the description bar but you do have to be subscribed to my channel follow me on instagram and follow me on twitter so yeah if you're interested in this video then make sure you keep watching and also don't forget to subscribe started I'm first gonna prime my eyes with the MAC soft ochre paint pot and I love the fact that I don't have nails anymore because now I can apply it on my finger and it applies so much better and then I'm gonna set it with one of the eyeshadows from the modern renaissance palette it's a shade called temptura which is the first shade all the way to the left and I'm just using a BH cosmetics brush to set that on my eyes Next, taking the Morphe M461 brush, I'm going to take the color Burnt Orange and apply that as my transition shade. This brush is great just because I'm pretty heavy handed so it allows me to not apply too much shadow and it really just diffuses the color. Like This is like my favorite brush for a transition shade right now. Next, taking the color Love Letter and this Crown C441 brush. I'm just applying that right to my crease and I like this brush just because it blows out the color but this is a beautiful berry color. I'm next going to go in with a different brush. This is also from Crown and I like this brush because it's a little bit more precise and it's going to make the color a little bit more vibrant but I'm putting that directly in my crease and it's going to also give me a little bit more of a sharper line. Next, taking a Delium Tool 780 brush, which is like a pencil brush, I'm going to apply my inner corner highlight. I'm using the color Vermeer. I'm going to apply that to my inner corner as well as my brow bone. Then I'm going to take the color Primavera and a flat brush, and that will be my lid color. It's a very pretty, like, gold color. Now taking another pencil brush, this is the Zoeva 230 brush and the color Love Letter, I'm going to apply that to my outer corner. This is just making the color Love Letter a lot more vibrant, but then I'm going to go on top of it with Cypress Umber and just make it a little bit darker. It's going to, I didn't want to make it too smoky, I wanted a real dark purple color so I kind of had to mix shades to get the color that I wanted. For my lower lash line, again, I'm just going to use the color Love Letter and then I'm going to go back with the color Vermeer and put that on like the inner third of my eye. And then for eyeliner, I'm using this eyeliner and excuse me because I don't really know the name of it. It's Dosi. It's hard to tell with the font, um, but I got it in an Ipsy bag a few months ago. It's a great black eyeliner. And then I'm just going to take that brown shade Cypress Umber and use this Delium Tools brush to get really close to my lash line to kind of blend the two together just so that way the black isn't too harsh against the um, berry color. 
For eyeliner, I'm using the Kat Von D eyeliner in the color Trooper. This is a really great eyeliner for beginners. I say that all the time, but it really helps you get like the perfect wing eyeliner. I have hooded eyes, so for hooded eyes, I would definitely recommend doing a very thin liner because you don't want to take away from the little bit of lid space that you have. For lashes, I'm just going to curl my lashes with the MAC Eyelash Curler and then I'm going to take this new Smashbox mascara called X-Rated as well as the Elizabeth Arden mascara and just coat my lashes with that. At first I was going to wear lashes and I did um, have them on for a little bit but I kind of felt like it took away from the look. It, they were just a little bit too much for this look. I feel like it really took away. And plus, I had to take them off because the inner corners kept popping up. I think it's my eyelash glue. I've I have I've been using the Revlon eyelash glue, and I'm not liking it. For lipstick, I really wanted to go with something that matched the eyes perfectly. I wanted a very pretty berry tone, so I went with this Elizabeth Arden lipstick in the color Raspberry. I really wanted to go for like a liquid lipstick and a dark one, but I'm like, no, I, I always do dark tones. Like part of me just wanted to break out Veronica, but I didn't. I stepped outside my comfort zone. But yeah, I just, I eventually did take off those eyelashes because they kept popping up as you could see. And then I just set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. That is all that I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Make sure you guys grab this palette because it's beautiful. And don't forget to enter the giveaway. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.